Hey, my name is Samar. I also go by Sam or First Time Panner. Any of those you want to call me, you can. This will be an update for my 54321 project. This was created by Elizabeth from Shiny Happy Pans, who was previously Kooky Pans. She's on Instagram, so she'll be linked in my description box. And long story short, this is a project where you pan um, a um, some type of beauty product that is five years old, four years old, three years old, two years old, and one year old. Um, or if you don't have something that's five years old, it can be older than five years old. Um, but I'm doing them all by calendar year. So my one year old product is from 2023 and so on until my five year old product, which is from 2019. I know to make matters worse, it's a lip gloss too five-year-old lip gloss is no joke um so that's why i'm trying to pan it um and all of this isn't a rule but um just for myself i decided that all of my products this year would be um lip products so i have um everything from like lip gloss lip primer lipstick in this project and i'm trying to finish everything also i know my eyes are very dark um every time i use black eyeshadow i get carried away it's i never learn I never ever learn when it comes to black eyeshadow but this is what we're dealing with I'm not leaving the house like this um, but it was fun at least I had a lot of fun doing it two months ago I rolled out my three-year-old product which was my NYX Shape Loud Duo and I was only working on the red side because I already finished the brown lip liner side so um, I finished that completely two months ago in the second update and um, this month I still don't have any rollouts but I am very close on one product for now I'll just talk about my five-year-old product which is sorry I need to cover this um, this is my um, Fenty Beauty mini gloss bomb in the shade cheeky which is a red orange and this time I finally was able to make a new mark on this um, I had barely used, I think like up until like the past week, I had only used this a handful of times this year. Um, and it was basically brand new. I think I'd only used it once before. But now that we're getting into like warmer, brighter weather, I'm finally starting to use this. And I made a decent jump. So I started from like um, two updates ago, I think I was here. And then I made a jump to this line. So I'm like a third of the way through the product already with like, I would say no more than 10 uses total on this lip gloss. Yeah, I'm really happy. I feel like so weird holding it like this, but um, I'm really happy with uh, my progress that I made. I went to a wedding um, last week and as you can see from my nails, I mean, I did put like a unicorn top coat, so this isn't the exact color. But um, my dress that I wore was an orange red and then I painted my nails this exact shade because of course I have a nail polish color for literally every color under the sun. And then um, this lip gloss is slightly more orange than like a red orange. It's more like a, um, or no, I'm jumbling my words. <laughs> this is slightly more orange than an orange leaning red, which is what my dress and nails were. But this is still like, a red leaning orange so I wore this for the wedding and I'm rambling now but basically that's how I got most of my use um, on this lip gloss and then also I was panning a lot of like orange makeup this past month so I was using this with a lot of my looks and I'm panning in one of my other projects I'm trying to completely finish an orange sheer lipstick and I like to top the lipstick with this if I just like want some extra color and it's a really pretty combination so I'm sure I'll be able to finish this just by using those together. My four year old product is my Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick in the shade Mink and this is the product that I'm almost done with. Look at um, how short it is now. Um, I will say I have only used this a few times, um, well like a handful of times in this past month but I actually was able to make a new mark on the paper. If you can see that there, I'm just holding it next to it, it's it's a very, very tiny jump from update 3 to 4, but I was able to make a new line regardless. So 
Um, I'm gonna take that as a win. I'm really going to try to finish this lipstick this month because I do want to roll out for this project, but also I really want to empty for my beauty bank. And this will be like one less lipstick that I have in my collection um, that I'm able to use up before it expires. Uh, I will be sad once I'm done with this though because I found out recently this shade of lipstick is not made anymore. I keep asking people if they know of any dupes and no one's responding and it's not like a serious thing. It's not a big deal. It's just makeup but um, the beauty lover in me is panicking a little bit because this is my favorite new lipstick. Like I love Milani Teddy Bear but that one is pink tone nude and this one is like completely neutral nude. And this is my favorite, favorite neutral nude in my entire collection. It's so easy to put on. It's so comfortable. It's such a nice shade. I'm actually wearing it now under a lip gloss. And I'm really going to miss this once it is gone. So please let me know if you know of anything similar. I'll do a swatch of this actually. And then I'll do a swatch of the lip gloss as well. But this is what it looks like if you it actually looks a bit warm here but um if you know of anything that looks like this like a creamy satin formula with just like a medium tone neutral brown um color please let me know <laughs> i'm serious here's that lip gloss so as you can see it's like more orange than red but it does still have a lot more red in it than like a typical bright orange so it's really pretty especially for spring so i'm sure i'm gonna get plenty of use again my three-year-old product has already rolled out so my two-year-old product is my dose of colors two-in-one lip hair and this is in the darker this is discontinued pretty much everything that i rolled in in the beginning was discontinued except for my one-year-old product but yeah this is discontinued but it was in the darker of the two lip pairs in the shade romance and the liquid lipstick and flirt in the lip gloss and i haven't used the liquid lipstick at all this past month so there's nothing to update on that but i have still been using the lip gloss flirt a lot um ever since i rolled this in i've been using it not as an everyday lip gloss but i've been using it pretty consistently and it's going fairly quickly there's only 0 0.07 ounces in um, each side so not much product to go through and I've had this sitting like on this side for the past month and it's settling to about here so I would say I've probably used about half of the product already I don't think I'm gonna take the stopper out to be honest because once I finish this I'll still have to use this side and I don't want just like a big mess um, the whole time I'm using the liquid lipstick because this is gonna take a while to finish even after I finish the gloss so I don't think I'm gonna take out the stopper especially since I have another purple lip gloss that I'm trying to pan um, but I will try to scrape out every last bit of this gloss because I really love it and again it's discontinued so I, I can't get it anymore and I want to use it as much as I can I keep forgetting to swatch everything so Here's the lip gloss and here's the liquid lipstick. My one year old product that is the only one that's still available but I don't think I would repurchase it anyway is my ABH lip primer. And I do, I'm getting pretty like close on finishing this. I thought I saw like a cat fur on it but it, it was just my imagination. I'm just paranoid. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty close on finishing this but I don't know if I'll have this done by next month. Um, I used this a few times this past month and I wasn't even able to make a new line marking so I'm not even going to bother showing you the paper um, but it's just a completely, I'll even swatch it, it's a completely clear um, lip primer. It's like not one of those like mattifying waxy primers. This is more like um, a it has like the consistency of a lip smackers. I use this under liquid lipstick specifically um, because I kind of just use it to like condition my lips before putting on a liquid lipstick. But other than that, it doesn't really do much. So I don't think I would repurchase this lip primer for that reason. The only lip primer that I feel like is worth repurchasing is the ColourPop one. So that's everything. Um, fairly quick update. I'm hoping I'm really going to try to push myself 
to finish my Revlon lipstick because I want another empty and I just want to have some movement in this project. I don't want to just have everything dragging on. That's all I have for you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.